Okay, so these are the answers on how, or this is how you do a lot of the problems on study guide number one. Okay, so the first problem we're going to do is problem number one. What is the order of 25% one third three fifths and 525 thousandths from least to greatest? Okay, now, kids, one third, I, I'm going to recommend you change them all to decimals. 25% is 0.25. One third, one divided by three is going to give you, it's 0.3 repeating. It's going to go on forever. So the one third is 0.3 repeating. Three fifths, well, five is a factor of 10 is six tenths. So that's 0.6. And then you have 0.525. So if I line these up, 0 0.25, 0 0.3 repeating, 0 0.6, 0 0.525, the smallest one is this one. 3 tenths repeating. So 1 third is the smallest. What's the next? Oh, no, it's not. What's the smallest? Because that would be that goes on and on forever. It's not one third. What's our smallest number up there? 25 hundredths, 25% is the smallest. Then it's 0.3 repeating, one third. What's the next to the biggest? Now this, you fill it with zeros. So 525 thousandths is the next, and the largest is 0.6, which is 3 fifths. Make sure you have that correct. When I walked around the room, I noticed a lot of you had it wrong, and I almost had the wrong answer. So once again, how do you do this problem? Change them to decimals, or you could change them to fractions, but decimals is just easier. 25% is 0 0.25, 1 third is 0 0.3 repeating, 3 fifths is 6 tenths, then I line them up, and you know if you have empty spots you fill them with zeros, and that's what you will do on that problem. Now, just for future reference, 1 third is 0 0.3 repeating, what will 2 thirds be? What does 2 thirds equal? 0.6 repeating, that's right. 2 thirds is 0.6 repeating, 1 third is 0.3 repeating. Just a little for no future reference. Okay, in this problem, we didn't really do problems like number two. Um, that's not going to be on your test, but if you want to know how to do that, of means times, you're going to have 498 times 0.3. Three, six. That is a 7th grade standard in the state of Indiana, but let's just go over how to do this. Of means times, so 6 times 8 is 48, carry a 4, 54 plus 4 is 58, carry a 5, 24 plus 5 is 29, add a decimal point, 3 times 8 is 24, carry a 2, 27 plus 2 is 29, carry a 2, 8, 12, carry a 1. Now, we haven't practiced multiplying with decimals, but you should have learned this last year. There are two numbers behind the decimal point, so you have to have two numbers behind the decimal point in the product. And the answer would be 179 and 28 hundredths. Question number three. Jeff got 23 out of 25 on his first math test, 83% on his second, and 94 hundredths on his third. Order his test scores from greatest to least. So we want the largest one first. I can change 23 25 to a decimal because 25 is a factor of 100. 25 times what is 100? 4. 
Write this down, kids. 4 times 23, 4 times 3 is 12, carry a 1. So we have 92 hundredths, which equals 0 0.92. 83% is 0 0.83 and 0.94. Which one is the biggest? Is this, this, or this? Which one is the largest? Yes. Right, so you're going to put down 94 hundredths first. What's your middle one? Yes. 23 25ths, 92 hundredths. The original form is 23 25ths. And the smallest one, 83%. Now, you write it down the way that it is on the, in the question. Yes. That's fine, too. You could do it as a fraction. Yes. Uh, we're almost done with this, and then I can say yes, okay? In just a, well, we only have two more minutes in class. Any other problem that you would like for me to do that was a little more challenging? Anything? The rest of these are pretty easy. Yes. Number six. What is 475% written as a mixed number? Okay. You put 475 over 100. Percent means per 100. And now we change it to a mixed number. How many 100s are in a 475? 4. How many's left over? 75. Now, we already know that we did this earlier today. What will 75 over 100 simplify to? Yes. 3 fourths. So the mixed number is 4 and 3 fourths. Any questions on the back? Any of the problems? 7 is pretty easy. 8, 9, 10. Um, let's look at number 11 and then it will be time to go. Um, Tom attempted 25 shots and made 9. He says he made 40% of the shots. Is Tom correct? So, 9 out of 25 equals what over 100? 25 times 4 is 100. 9 times 4 is 36. He made 36%. Now, you will have to explain. Is it true? Is he correct or not correct? And explain why. It is time for you to go to your next class. Have a good day, boys and girls.